Hey designers, in today's quick tutorial, I'll show you how to create responsive layouts in Figma by using auto layout wrapping. This feature allows elements to wrap to the following line when they don't fit the designated space. So let's start with the basics. So let's say we have these four boxes, each having a different width uh, placed inside an auto layout frame. And by default, these fit on a single row. But what if, for some reason, I need to resize my parent frame? This fourth element here does not fit. So in the past, what I would usually do is take that away from the initial frame, paste it outside, and then grab these two, create another frame, and set the vertical spacing to the same amount as the horizontal spacing here which is 32 pixels. But now there's actually a faster way. So let's undo, undo, undo. Now, if you look in the auto layout panel in Figma, you'll see a third option for direction, which is called wrap. So you click that, and now you have the option to resize the parent frame, and Figma will automatically place the items that don't fit on a new row. And I can go even smaller than this, and it's going to place the, my third item on a second row, which is fantastic. And it can go even smaller. It's going to create yet another row. It's going to create as many rows as it needs to fit all that content. Now, auto layout wrapping offers endless possibilities for your projects. Let's explore just one example of how you can implement this powerful technique. Let's quickly look at this recipe list. And if we just select one of these and zoom in, you can see we have an image, a title, a description, and then at the bottom, uh, a list of nutritional values. We have the calories, the protein, carbs, and fat. And you'll see that when I resize the main frame, the image and the two text elements resize correctly because they are set to fill container. However, this is also set to fill container, but the elements inside are set to hug contents, which means they will not respond to uh, the size of the parent, but instead they would resize, the parent frame would, would resize to fit its contents. And this is a great use case for auto layout wrapping, because here's what I can do. I can enable wrapping right here. And just like that, the items that didn't fit on that initial first row are now moved to a second row. This works great because if I keep on resizing this element, those elements at the bottom will simply just keep being automatically placed by Figma on new rows. And of course, if I resize this to a much larger width so everything fits in one row. That's great. Figma does that automatically for me. Now, two things before we wrap things up. First of all, if you select a frame that has a wrapping applied to it, you have access to both the horizontal and the vertical gap between the rows. And by default, you know, changing one of them, will change the other, or I should say changing the horizontal will also change the vertical gap. But the vertical gap can also uh, be set at a different value. So currently, I am using 22 for horizontal and 40 for the vertical gap, but I can easily uh, change that back. If I want to uh, change the vertical to be the same as the horizontal, I can just delete that value. So now we can change that back to where it was. So that's one. Two, when you are creating a layout like this, you might want to consider adding minimum and uh, maximum values. So you don't get into a position where uh, you are able to resize this card and it kind of breaks the layout. So if you resize it like this, obviously it's too small. And I do have a video on the channel about using minimum and maximum dimensions in Figma. Go ahead and check that out. And uh, that's it for Figma auto layout wrapping. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon for more 
Figma tips and tricks just like this one. I'm Adi and I'll see you next time.